Hi everybody, welcome to another Rails tutorial video. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to set up a has many relationship in Rails. What a has many through relationship has in Rails is it allows you to set up the fact that you an object can have many of something and the ob and the receiving object can have many of that. So for instance, if you have a student, a student can have many teachers and a teacher can have many students. In a previous video, we showed a has many one way example where for instance, a user would have many tweets, but a tweet doesn't necessarily have many users. So we're going to show one way of how to set up a has many through relationship is what it's called when you have a has many relationship going both ways. So as you can see here, I made a has many Rails project using Rails version 4.2. And what we're going to do now is we're going to create the three models that we need to create a has many through relationship. And what we're going to do here is we're going to generate three models. The first model is going to be of our students. To keep this simple, we're just going to give it a name. We're going to create a student and we're going to give it a name and it gave me an error because I capitalized model when I should just give it a lowercase m. Now we're going to do Rails G for generate. I'm going to do teacher. I'm going to give the teacher a name as well. We can give it an age. It doesn't matter much. We can make an integer. And again, I made, I did not, I forgot to put model in the text. It's good to go over the errors you make so you don't forget them. And now we need to make our third table and our third table is the most important so we have a teacher and a student and a student has many teachers and a teacher has many students so now we need basically the in-between table the table that links the students to the teachers and so in our example what we're going to do is we are going to call i'm going to call this ta this this table subjects now you could call this table classes or you could call this table something else. But in our example, a student is going to have many subjects and our teacher is going to have many subjects. Think of it as a fourth grade teacher who teaches all your classes to you. So we're going to do Rails G model subject. So the one thing our subject is going to have is a name and it's going to have, we'll have a, make it have a time that has a date. And the other thing we're going to make it have is it also needs to have a reference to our student, not our user, and our teacher. So I'm going to say student references and teacher references. And so what this is going to do is it's automatically going to create a belongs to teacher and student relationship in our database. So now I'm going to run rake db migrate to create all three tables, the student, teacher, and subject table. And now we're going to go into our Rails project and I'm going to show you the schema we just created. So we created a students table with just the name, a subjects table with a student ID and a teacher ID, and a teachers table with a name and an age. And also we have two indexes which link the student ID and the teacher, the subjects teacher ID and the student ID to the teachers and the subjects. So subjects is aware of students and teachers. The other thing we're going to go to is we're going to go to the subject model. And as we can see here by running rake db migrate, the belongs to relationship between a teacher and a student has already been created for us. So we're saying, hey, um, subjects belong to students and subjects belong to teachers. Makes sense. Okay. Now we're going to go to our teacher subject. Now, one thing our teacher has that we've established is a teacher has many subjects. Okay. And now we're going to go to our student model and we're going to do the same thing. We're going to say a student has many subjects as well. Okay. And now we're going to go back to our teacher. This is where, this is the big part. And this is the thing you're most likely to forget is that we also are going to say our teacher has many students because that's true, but our the way we can the way we can see our students is through the subjects that they take so our teacher has many students through subjects 
So we can see our students through the subject's table. And that's the same thing with our students. Our students has many teachers through our subjects table. So also note you need them in this order. You need to say has many subjects. So Rails is, is um, aware of subjects. So then you can reference it in the next line or below when you say has many through subjects. Okay, so this will allow you to basically say student.teachers for a student to look at all its teachers and then also can do students.subjects to look at all of its subjects. So without further ado, let's exit Vim and let's go into our Rails console where we can create students and teachers and play around with all this. So one thing that we're going to do is let's create two students. So let me do two let me quickly create a student. Let's do S1 equals student.create and we'll do name Bob and we'll just do that. And I'll do S2 equals student.create and we'll do name Alex. So we're going to create two students here and we're going to reference them as S2 and S1. And now we're going to create a teacher and we'll call T1 equals teacher.create and that's name and we're going to call it a uh, miss piggy and we're going to give it two students we're going to also pass it in another parameter i'm going to give it two students and we're going to give it an array of s1 and s2 so we're going to say okay this teacher has two students s1 and s2 and now you can see when i ran this code there was no error thank god that now when we we insert it into subjects. So what we're doing here is that we are now, we are creating students. We are inserting our students into the teacher. We are teaching our teacher. We are, man, our teacher is knowing about students through the teacher. No. Our database is working by inserting the students through the subjects table. And that's what we see here in the insert into subjects student ID teacher ID created at. So it inserted student ID one and student ID two into the subjects table because teachers have many subjects. And as we said, we have the teacher has many students through the subjects table as we wrote in our code. So now if I do t1.students, I get both of our students back in an active record association. I can do students.count and I get two because I associated it with two students. Something I can also do is I can do t1.subjects and I can get the two subjects. So one second. I can do subjects dot count and I can see here I have two subjects that I'm associated with and that is because every time I inserted a student a subject was created and that is because I have each there's only for each student there was also a subject created because I have a student through a subject so a teacher has students through subjects. So you can see how it goes. If you want, click the link below to see a nice picture layout of a has many through relationship. But doing so now allows me to also do the alternative where I could also, let me do t2 equals teacher dot create. And let's do name and we'll do um, Einstein. He was a teacher. And now we can do students we already did that so i have t1 and t2 so now we can do s3 equals um student dot create and we can do name billy and we can do teachers t1 and t2 okay and so now when I do S3 dot teachers, I get 
teachers of Miss Piggy and Einstein. So I can reference both of my teachers. And also if I wanted to, I could look at the subjects I take. So I take a subject and that's, I take subjects of three and four. Now those, these subjects also have teacher's ID so associated with them. So that's pretty cool. So I can do, you know, subjects.first.teacher. And so when I do that, I now get my first subject in the array. I had two subjects and I get my teacher. So that's pretty cool. So when I'm looking at it from the student's perspective, I see that, oh, this teacher teaches this subject. So I see Miss Piggy teaches my subject. So what's cool, this allows me to differentiate my data. I can now, in the subject, maybe I can put the time it's at, and in the teacher, I can put only information about the teacher, and I can put the name of the subject. So has many through relationships are very powerful because I can update the tables, I could update the subjects table to contain information, or I can update the teacher information teacher table to contain other information. I hope you enjoyed this guy's video. Leave a comment below if you had trouble understanding it, but I highly suggest just messing with yourself. It's really easy. And I'll post a link to some more info below if you like it.